Uh, the only trap with buying art is that when you buy your first one, one's never enough and you'll come back for a second, third, fourth and fifth. It's when you put up a painting in your house, in your home, as opposed to a print, nothing beats it. The artists all fall into one category here, regardless of whether they're landscape or wildlife or still life artists, they're all published artists. A published artist is an artist who has their works reproduced on different products. Calendars, cards, dinner placemats, prints, it doesn't matter. And that is how art's marketed. It's always been the case. The only artist to ever become famous um, throughout the world, not just in Australia, but America and Europe, have been published artists. And if you walk down any public hospital corridor, you'll see Monet's prints down the corridor. If um, one in four houses in Australia have a reproduction of Darcy Doyle's work as a dinner placemat or coffee mug, a biscuit tin, whatever. And that's what we're aiming for. We want that publicity out there where art people, customers, are coming to us to buy an original. And it's those reproductions that are really important to an artist's career. Without that, um, they do not have a career in my view. They really need the public to be behind them. And the way the public gets behind an artist is to see their artist, that, that artist's work in other areas, such as reproductions. Very important to an artist's career. And that's what we specialise in. Most people are following an artist rather than the gallery. So if you want a William T. Cooper, a Bill Cooper painting, there is only one place in the world to buy it and that's here. Bill Cooper, according to Sir David Attenborough, is the best scientific painter of birds in the world. So if you want a painting by the best scientific painter of birds in the world, according to Sir David, and Sir David's done two films on Bill Cooper, then you have to come to this gallery. This is the only place that buys and sells Bill Coopers. Last weekend we sold two Bill Coopers. Uh, one was $24,600 and the other one was $55,000. Bill Cooper has done two ex exhibitions uh, in the last uh, 12 years. Uh, the first one was in 2003 and we sold 29 paintings in an hour and 10 minutes. At his second exhibition, which was in 2013, we sold 31 paintings for $237,000 in 11 minutes. That was very good, quite exhilarating. <coughs> And those buyers came from all over. There was one couple who drove four hours to Alice Springs. They caught a flight from Alice Springs to Sydney. They then hired another car from Sydney and drove to the gallery and purchased one piece. And they were very happy. A lot of artists say, oh, it cheapens your art if, if it's published. I don't see that. Bill Cooper, William T. Cooper, had his work published in dozens and dozens of books which sold worldwide, both in limited edition uh, prints, in books, and open edition books. It made them accessible. Some books you pay $10,000 for, just for a book. Others you can buy open edition ones for $50 or $25. But that's why Bill Cooper has such a high name in, in the art world, is because he was found out there through his books, not through his originals. There is not enough originals. There is 400 originals of Bill Cooper's that are available to the public to the purchase. All the rest are in institutions, public institutions around the world. Um, so with 400 in the, in the entire marketplace, 400 originals, how are people going to know about Bill Cooper, William T. Cooper? Through the reproductions. With art, you can enjoy your investment every day of your life. And that's why you should only buy a painting that you enjoy. You shouldn't buy it because it's a good investment. If then it makes some money as well, some capital gain as well, that's a big bonus. And the artists we have are published artists, which means generally speaking their, their work is increasing at about 10% per annum. Some a little more, some a little less, but it goes up at that rate in good times and bad.